Hi everyone, welcome to Joe's Kitchen Capers. Thanks very much for joining me today. I just wanted to have a chat to you. If you saw my previous video, I was talking about how I prefer to buy organic, really for health reasons. I like to know what's being sprayed on my food, well, what's not being sprayed on my food really, and that I'm not eating a whole lot of pesticides and insecticides because I don't know what that's doing to my health and my body. So I mentioned last week, if buying organic isn't an option for you, that there's a list available called the Clean 15 and the Dirty Dozen. So it is exactly what the name suggests. The Clean 15 are fruits and vegetables that don't so readily absorb insecticides and pesticides in them. And the Dirty Dozen are actually ones that you should avoid completely if possible. Uh, so I've written these down to do that today so I can actually run through them with you. So excuse me referring to a list, but there are a few of them. So let's start with the Clean 15, which are the good guys. So um, number one, asparagus, which is great. Asparagus is in season at the moment, and I've got to say it's one of my favorite vegetables. Avocado is the second one. Cabbage, eggplant, grapefruit kiwi fruit and mangoes, mushrooms and onions, pineapple, rock melon, sweet corn, check out my sweet corn fritter recipes, sweet peas, sweet potato and watermelon. So these are all fruit and vegetables that if you are buying them and can't buy them organic, you can get them from the supermarket, just still check their country of origin because we can be sure what they're spraying on them um, in this country, but if you're buying something from overseas, you know, they haven't got the same regulations or the same strictness around some of their spraying as we might have here. So that's just really something to bear in mind. Now I've got the Dirty Dozen list. Now, it's actually now, they're going to have to rename it because it's not the Dirty Dozen anymore. It's, it's actually got 18 products on it. And these are such things as apples, blueberries, broccoli, capsicums and carrots, celery, cherries, cucumbers, grapes, kale, lettuce, nectarines, peaches, pears, potatoes, spinach, strawberries, and zucchini. So some of these are actually quite common fruits and vegetables, aren't they? I guess, you know, some of you may think, oh my gosh, we eat a lot of that. I guess for me, the good news about this list is some of the things are really easy to grow at home. You know, um, if, you've got a, if you haven't got a, a bit of land that you can plant in, plant a few things in pots. Things like um, lettuce and kale, it grows really easily. Cucumbers grow really easily and you can get quite a few off your vine. You can even pickle them. So, you know, just be aware, some of the berries you can plant quite easily and get fruit off. Strawberries grow really well. Just make sure you protect them from the birds. I'm going to share with you in the next couple of weeks, I'm just running a little experiment of my own that I've got going that I want to show you the difference of um, what some of these sprays and inhibitors that they put in our plants can, can do to a um, fruit or a vegetable compared to one that has been grown organically. So watch this space and I'll show you that result in a couple of weeks. And I hope you have a great day. Choose wisely when you go shopping. That's all today from Joe's Kitchen Capers. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook and Instagram and subscribe to my channel and you can get my weekly video updates. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.